Uh, I'm gonna get a, um, a Chick-fil-A sandwich, no pickles, four count, the chicken strips. There you go. Thank you. My pleasure. That's right. I got chicken tenders because I'm a big kid. Well, we're gonna do something different today. Do some real practicing. I signed up two days ago and paid $400 to enter the biggest tournament that I'm probably ever, a kayak tournament I'll probably ever fish in. And um, it's a lot of money. There's a big reward. It's a national tournament and it happens to be on Chickamauga Lake, which is close to me. So I'm gonna put at least a couple days of pre-fishing in maybe a couple half days and try to figure out something. That way when I go into this tournament, it's a two day tournament, I can catch some fish and compete because there's some big time people gonna be fishing in it. It's gonna be an awesome event and I don't wanna you know, embarrass myself. So I'm gonna put some effort into it. That's what we're doing. It's a windy day. It's kind of warm though this afternoon. So we'll see what happens. Man, there's eagles everywhere around here. Oh, there's one there. There's two there and there's two over there. Coming back. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, we got one today. <clears throat> That's the first bite I've gotten. This is all new water, by the way. I haven't fished any of this stuff before. I went, uh, I've put in at this ramp, but I've never gone this direction. And the water is um, pretty low. We've gotten, I switched this red crankbait, a little Berkeley, uh, what are these things called? Fritz side. And, uh, Got my first fish, but um, pretty small. One of the things I'm trying to do is eliminate water or find something new that I've never found. So I'm probably gonna hit a couple more ramps either today or tomorrow, or the next day, new places and try to find something. Cause I never do good when the water's low. I like, when the water's up, I could go up in all these creek channels and there's always fish in there. But when it's like this, I just don't know what to do. That's a good fish. Man, that's one I want to catch in the tournament. Well, they say use red crankbaits in spring and I just started using it. Caught that little one and I caught a good one right here. That's a good tournament keeper there. Maybe not a winning size fish, but a good one I would be happy to get. Sixteen and a quarter inches, so yeah, I'd take that. Hmm. All right, let's get let's keep casting that crankbait for a little while and see if we can figure something out. We got our third one. I turned the camera off because I was trying to work my way upstream. Okay, I'm probably gonna have a red crankbait tied on in the tournament. Haven't got those big ones yet, but. At least we're gonna use it to try some more places. That was a, a little spot. All right, we've been out here for just over a couple hours. I was, was gonna go upstream, but I have fished there before. So I think we're gonna load up and try to hit another ramp.
Well, it didn't take long to get one here, did it? I've been here about five minutes. I just got the yum dinger out, started working this ledge. I don't know if everybody else is fishing for crappie or what, but there's one pretty quick. Oh yeah. Oh! I had to have one that came off. I have the wrong rod right here. I think this rod's too stiff. I didn't bring my other rod. Fred Crankbait's getting some bites though. There's another keeper. I haven't got any of those big ones yet, but I feel like I'm putting something together to be able to get some solid ones. At least get a solid limit. 14 and a half, not a giant, but today he's fat. Look how fat that guy is. I caught that on another one on the crankbait. I switched to the rock crawler and I came up this bank, just kind of working it. Earlier, I lost two already on the other crankbait. Um, one of them, I hooked it in the back. And I, and I tried to pull him in, he popped off. Another one I had and he came off. I'm starting to get something together. Although this is a week away, I think the pattern should be similar. The weather's gonna be the same. Um, so hopefully, hopefully this is gonna work out. Well, if I come here in the tournament, there's a lot of good rock I could pull a crankbait down, but this is too rough right now. Let's turn around, go back. Oh, another one. I just turned around start, and I changed crankbait and I got another one. He swallowed that thing too. He's even a little bigger. That's another, whew, those waves. 14 and a half or he's got a big body on it. Holy cow, I got another one. Well, they're hitting everything. This this ledge right here, they're on fire. Dude, this is a third good keeper. <laughs> this is on a chatterbait on the uh, Booyah Melee. That may be the biggest one today. 15 and three quarters. Maybe I'll get another one. All right, I'm leaning more towards coming here. This this rock ledge is loaded. Who knows if there'll be people fishing it, if there'll still be here. But right now I know that there's fish here and good keepers. They haven't haven't got that. I need, I'm probably gonna need some 20 inches, but 15s and plenty of 14s and 15s is a good sign. All right, so it's the next day and um, I didn't get started. I did like midday and I went to three ramps so far and the wind is so bad, like on the main lake and the main river. I fished from the bank for a couple places and the wind's just blowing my face. So this right here is a creek channel that's kind of hidden a little bit and the water's flowing. There's also, they say they get white bass through here. So we're gonna put in here for a couple hours and try something, I think at least out of the wind and just try to, try to see if this is a place we wanna come to or not.
Where's a nice fish? Okay. Well, there's something. He's fat. That's a solid keeper. I definitely feel like the crankbait. I'm thinking about setting up two crankbait rods. Um, that's not a big one, it's like a 14 incher, but fat. I forgot my back camera, I forgot my front camera. I only brought one with me, so. There's a good fish. So, okay. Let's see if we find anything else. I haven't seen any white bass yet. I thought maybe some white bass, so I'm kind of just throwing around, throwing around the, the uh, bomber flat A. And, uh, oh. I just got a tree. Solid fish there. Don't know how many, how much fish is in here. Little spotted bass right there. Fat little dude. <laughs> well, we made it to the um, mouth of the creek where it enters the river and it's flowing really good and really windy so um we've been out here about a couple hours it's gonna head back now probably done for the day i didn't want to fish a lot today once again the only thing i can get bites on was a crankbait so we're probably not coming here i don't see myself coming here but it gives me more confidence to use that crankbait so let's uh get to pedaling and get out of here go watch some basketball games march madness Thanks for watching this practice video and I hopefully we'll have my tournament video done because this is already post tournament and it happened just a couple days ago. And if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, then you don't know what happened. But if you already follow me there, I've posted a lot of stuff about it. It was very exciting. I can't wait to put the video together because I hope it comes out as exciting as it was when it happened. A lot of the stuff that this pre-fishing, which I don't pre-fish a lot. A lot of times I don't put a lot of effort into it, but this a lot of this that i did pre-fishing was very important and very key in some of the stuff that happened in the tournament so i'm glad i was able to get out there and kind of learn kind of figure out what the fish were biting and eating on some areas to go to because that what that really helped me out in the tournament thanks for watching